of the people in the company greet her as she comes down the stairs. And there the music is playing, and all the young men ask to dance with her. And she's never seen gentlemen so fine. Silk coats and silver breeches. And after each dance, they go over to the table, to the groaning board, the food. And there's a hundred tables stuffed with every kind of food you can imagine. And chandeliers of crystal blazing with candles and the music and the wine. And she dances and dances the night away and has never felt so happy in her life. And then finally, at the stroke of midnight, the Chloricon comes and begins to dance with her as well. And he puts his hand behind her back and slowly they dance around the room and she has that wonderful feeling. But as they're dancing more and more, his hand begins to feel hot. And hotter and hotter it gets as they twirl round and round and the music goes faster and faster. And it begins to burn at her back and she becomes frightened. And everything that had been joyful and peaceful now becomes fear. For when she looks into the Chloricon's eyes, don't they have a red glow to them? And they dance further and further across the room. And she notices that all of those beautiful people that she had seen before are actually friends and relatives of hers that have been dead for many, many years. And the music picks up its speed and grows stranger and stranger as they twirl around the room and they begin to seemingly lift off the floor until she next opens her eyes and they're outside above the house in the sky as the stars are glowing in eerie white and seem to bleed. And the moon itself is a strange purple color that gives the unearthly look to the land below. And as she looks down, she sees the house of her parents, and it's the first time that she thought of her family since she went with the Chloricon. And she became very sad as the burning hand that was in her back made her realize that she may never see her family again, 